using a piecewise function, here's an application of a piecewise function. Here, we're asked to actually create the piecewise function. It says your, that your job pays $7 per hour, and that if you work more than 40 hours in a week, you receive 1.5 times your regular rate for each hour over 40. So I guess I would start doing this. I'd say, okay, what is my pay based on the hours that I work? And I think the first part of it is pretty simple, that it's seven times the amount you make. I'm sorry, it's, it's seven dollars times every hour that you work. But here, yeah, I guess in some ways it's a good job, right? Because right, this is for x is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to 40 hours. So if you work somewhere between zero hours and 40 hours, you get seven times that amount. But you get more than that, I think, right? If you work more than 40 hours, and what would that look like? Well, the first thing you'd do is you'd get paid $7 for the first 40 hours, wouldn't you? Plus, you'd get paid 1.5 times $7, right? You get one and a half times your $7 for every hour over 40. So he'd say, you know what, what's H minus 40, right? So let's see if that's making any sense here. If you work 40 hours, you'd have 40 minus 40, right? And you'd get, and you'd get this. Th this is assuming that we go over 40 hours, so we don't want to apply that if you have less than that. So if you work 41 hours, you'd get seven times 40, you'd get $280, wouldn't you? And then you'd get 1.5 times seven, which I think is $10.50. You'd have 41 hours, so it'd be 40 mi 41 minus 40 would be one hour, so you'd get your regular pay plus that extra $10.50. So I think that works. But let's see if we can't simplify that out to an equation that we can put here because we need to know what happens, sorry, if the number of hours that you work is greater than 40. So we want to make sure that we have something that's counting our pay well for us. First thing I'll do is this, and I believe that 1.5 times 7 is 10.5. So it's 10.5. And then if you don't mind, I just want to distribute to here and to here. So 7 times 40, I think, is 280. Plus 10.5 times h is 10.5 h, right? And 10.5 times negative 40 is negative 420, isn't it? Then we can simplify this by adding these, this number and this one. And this is times h, isn't it? And we'll get 10.5 h, right, minus 140. So we'll get 10.5 h minus 140. What I'd like you to do right now is go back and take a look and see if that isn't true for how much do you think you would make if you work 41 hours, right? Okay, so then we can graph this thing pretty easily, can't we? Our graph looks like this, right? Our graph is the graph of 7h, right? Then it hits this point, when, and this is the point 40 to 80. Right, but as soon as that, so as soon as we get past, sorry, as soon as we get past 40 hours, it starts to grow faster because now it's growing at a rate, right? The steepness here is 10.5 times h, isn't it? Where this is the number of hours that you worked, right? And this is the, your, and this is your cash, your money, right? So I hope this helps you. This is just one of many that we should do. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. <clears throat>